New at 6, a popular outdoor memorial on the west side of Oahu has been destroyed by vandals. Years ago, a family installed an angel statue and bench overlooking Yokohama Bay after their mother's ashes were scattered there. KITV Forest Anita Kabir spoke to the family about the damaged memorial. Eva Beach resident Marta Shrimska Andre says her mom's memorial was a popular site here at Yokohama Bay. People left behind lay and rosaries while enjoying the bench the family set up. A few days ago, Andre says she found the memorial broken and the bench was thrown off the cliff here. She didn't file a police report but has relayed her experience on social media. Of course, it's not right. It hurts people. Um, I don't know who did it and why. Um, you know, they could have been going through something themselves, so um, I don't blame anybody. There is no hurtful feelings. Um, you know, if, if somebody knows who did it, if they could replace it, that would be great. Or at least let me know where I can get another angel. Andre says her mother's memorial has been sitting in this spot for almost a decade. Her post on Stolen Stuff Hawaii received a lot of attention and support from others who commented. Their memorials for a loved one have also been vandalized. At a nearby restaurant, Aloha Poke, owners say vandalism is an issue all along Farrington Highway. Noalani Igawa says vandals steal small parts from memorials, like flowers and trinkets, and sometimes they end up breaking the whole thing. We've seen a lot of crime rate, you see a lot of homeless people. I was once homeless and I was once a drug addict. I did my recovery out here in Waianae 15 years ago. And here I stand today with a business of my own. So I went from selling dope to selling food. And if I can do it, anybody can do it too. On Stolen Stuff Hawaii, residents post about vandalism a couple of times each week. When vandals strike, it usually involves graffiti and destroying outdoor decorations. Marta Shrimska Andre says she plans to replace the memorial and bench for the community to enjoy again. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.